Good morning, you guys. I am just going to pop on here. It is Saturday and I want to tag a few people. No, let me see. Tag, tag, tag. How do you do this? I don't know if you can. Okay, so yeah, I don't know if you can. So maybe I'll just tag later um, when I repost the video. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to just jump on here. My name is Lizzie Holbrook. Um, and I just wanted to share with you guys kind of what I've been, you know, doing, um, my mission, my passion. Um, so basically what everyone always, asks, not everyone, I'm not like a celebrity or anything, but people ask me like, what do I do for a living? Um, you know, wh what do I stand for? What's, you know, what do I do? So my day job is insurance. I love insurance because, you know, I kind of just fell into it after doing bartending and getting out of the industry um, because it was kind of an easy transition. It was like, you know, you get your license, you'll be able to work. Um, but I am grateful enough and um, blessed enough to work for an agent that is just the most amazing person ever. Um, and so, you know, obviously my day job is insurance and my, my passion is wellness and I call it the Trinity of wellness. And basically what that is, is, you know, mind, body, soul, wellness. It's not just about what you look like on the outside. Um, obviously what you look like on the outside is going to be coming from what's going on inside of you. Um, and obviously if your heart's not right, if your you know, if your brain's not right, if you're, you know, everything going on with you, if you're stressed out, it's going to show, um, on the outside. So that's kind of like, that's kind of what I do. Um, I'm, I want to see, cause I know I am alive, but I want to see if I, okay. Invite to join. Okay. So let me, let me see. Uh, I'm trying to see, cause I've never done like a live live where I like, I'll tag people. So I just want to see. Let me real quick. Let me let me tag my mom. Let me tag. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay. All right. So I think that basically just notified them to watch. Uh, let me see. Okay. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, so basically I'm all about the Trinity of wellness. What is that? That's mind, body, and soul. Um, obviously anything that's going on in your heart, um, not just physically speaking, you know, when you get that diagnosis from the, you know, the doctor or whatever, you know, medical professional you're seeing, um, that's not just, that's not a new case. That's not a new thing that just happened. Um, it's, you know, most of the time it's really not, um, people say a lot of things are hereditary. Um, I, I disagree with that. About 5% of the things are hereditary and, um, you know, obviously you, you're more, um, you're more apt to get, whatever disease, whatever, um, you know, diagnosis, whatever, because your family, uh, bloodline totally completely. But a lot of things are preventable. Um, and for me, it's all about like, how healthy is your heart? Um, you know, figuratively speaking, um, as well as physically speaking, um, hello. So really what I do is you really want to do like a heart check and I'm not talking about a cardiologist or anything like that. Of course you need to go do that, but I'm talking about, you know, how is your heart? Is your heart hard? Is it, you know, has it been burned in the past? Has it, is it still hurting from that breakup? Is it, is it, um, you know, negative? Do you wake up every morning like, oh, this happened to me and now I'm going to just make sure that like nobody ever hurts me again. And then you have a hard heart. Um, so really you want to do like a heart check. Um, and that's kind of where I'm at. Um, honestly, like mind, body and soul, you know, Trinity of wellness, that isn't a new thing for me. Um, I've always loved that idea of just really getting down to the nitty gritty of like, how is your heart? Um, another thing about your heart, physically speaking, um, and the reason why I personally, 
uh, am vegan and my family is vegan. I don't cook anything that isn't vegan. Um, and I, my fiance is a six, six something, six, three, two, over 200 pounds. And the food that I make him is totally enough, you know, to uh, not only fill him up, but nutritionally like help him. And he works out at, like at least, you know, every other day, um, if not more. So it's totally tangible. It's totally attainable. You know, if you have some type of, you know, diagnosis or anything like that, and you're really at your wits end, I would definitely recommend trying the vegan lifestyle. And I'm not talking about those commercial vegans to where they're going. And instead of getting a real meat hamburger, they're going to get a uh, impossible burger because what is in those impossible burgers, that is not what vegans are about. The real vegans are about nutrition, you know, plants, really just making the plant the main versus the side um, dish. So that's, you know, that's the physical side of your heart. If you really want to clean out your blood, it's just, it's just proven. It's going to do a detox. It's going to clean out your blood, you know, get all those, um, you know, oils out of your blood, those like thick oils that are really clogging your arteries and making it to where you're getting those diagnoses, you know, like, there's a lot of things going around that are totally preventable. Um, so that's the physical side of your heart condition. Um, the emotional side of your heart condition I was speaking about earlier was, you know, whatever happened in your past, whatever trauma you went through as a child that, you know, was not your fault. Um, some things that you did that maybe were your fault, maybe when you were, you know, in your 20s or in your teens that you totally, that was on you. Um, and that was your past life. And now you're trying to get back to what where god wanted you to be in the first place so that is the emotional side of your heart and then obviously your soul um emotionally that's kind of like i, I as much as you say like oh emotionally um that's like your heart and it's not a lot of it is mental a lot of it can be um rewritten if we just mentally put good things in our bodies and hello 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 um, if we put good things in our body um, that are going to help us, not just food, but things that we're actually, you know, watching, we're reading, we're scrolling. If you look on someone's phone and they're, and they're ashamed of their like feed, they're like, oh my gosh, there's so many like political things, or there's so many like news things. And there's just like so much going on. It's so negative. I don't see that on my feed. Like I don't, I see a lot of, um, uh, you know, empowerment. I see a lot of, you know, um, enrichment. I, I don't see any news because I don't scroll news. I, I personally don't scroll news. I don't want anything to do with the news. It has, I mean, it has something to do with my life, of course, you know, my day to day, whether this is closed or that is closed, but it doesn't have anything to do with my eternal life, my real life. And, you know, what I'm really here for. So I don't fill my time with, with that type of propaganda, um, to be honest with you. So if you're, if you see a lot of that on your feed, it's because you've clicked on it. It's because that's what you want more of that. So if you keep clicking on it, they're going to give you more. If you look at your TikTok, um, it's probably like a lot of crazy things, but you keep looking at it. So they're going to give you more of that. It's the algorithm. Um, it's not brain surgery. It's not hard. They're going to give you what you look for. Um, so that's, that's just the, that's the mental side of your heart. Um, what you're reading, what you're watching, you know, you can't say that when you're watching something like that is so demonic and like all these serial killers, like I get it. Like serial killers are just, they're awesome, right? Like <laughs> they should be glorified because what they did was so amazing. Um, and then people make a movie about it. Um, but when you're putting that into your body, you can't say, oh, I'm strong enough to know the difference between, um, you know, this isn't real and that isn't real. You watch serial killer shows, you watch anything that is just demonic like that, it's going into your body one way or another. So you can't say, oh, I'm filtering it out. It's like, I'm trying to filter out my trauma from my past. I don't need any of this going on, more trauma. At the end of the day, you might say it's a TV show. It's, it's your guilty pleasure. No, that is garbage in garbage out. Um, another thing is, you know, a lot of people kind of look at, you know, addiction in a different way that, you know, they say that you can only be addicted to drugs. You can only be addicted to alcohol. Um, you know, I know firsthand what addiction feels like, um, in my family, generational curses in, you know, with my, my loved ones, my friends with me personally. So 
addiction isn't just what you think it is. It's not substance abuse. It is addiction. Whether you sit there and binge watch a show, that is addiction. That is you're addicted to that show. You're addicted to what's going on. Um, <clears throat> So that is, you know, that is something that you're addicted to. Of course, that's why we call it guilty pleasure. Um, and I'm totally guilty of it too. But we also just have to look at what we're watching, what we're putting in, into our minds and our, um, in our bodies. Um, another, you know, another thing that going off of like what you put into your body, I personally use products that are pure. I do because I know that what, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, so when you're putting something into your body, it's not just about, you know, oh is, oh, is this a pure product? Is this, you know, is it natural? Really look at the label. And there's a lot of different um, code words for things that are not good for you, right? Um, in food, if something says that it's naturally flavored, I would look at that. Um, any, they're like the F words in like in your health, right? So flavor is going to be for food and fragrance is going to be for any, you know, toiletries, anything you're putting on your body. So if you're using a product that's like, oh, naturally um, infused with essential oils, but then you see the word fragrance in it, you're like, that doesn't make sense. So why are we putting fragrance in it if it's naturally infused with essential oils or something like that? So that's, that's a big thing too. Um, that's a lot of what I do. I really, really touch on, you know, personal care products, whatever you're putting on your body, like on your, your largest organ, which is your skin is going to be coming out of your body. So you're going to be sweating it. You're going to be smelling it. Um, if you're using that like deodorant that you're slathering on and you're only putting on like once or twice a day um, because it's blocking the sweat and, and whatever else it's doing, that's not something that's good for you. Your body was meant to, sw to sweat. And if your sweat smells, then you should probably be looking at what you're putting into your body for that to be coming out. So that's, that's another part of, you know, everything, everything you put into your body is going to come out. So, um, yeah, so I am all about the Trinity of wellness and that is really what I stand for. So if anyone ever asks, you know, what do you do? Like, what do you do for a living? This and that, um, that is my passion. It is the Trinity of wellness, mind, body, and soul. It's not just about what you're putting on your body, in your body. It's, it's, all one so it's a lifestyle so i'm basically like i have a whole like lifestyle it's not just one thing or another thing but it's it's basically a lifestyle so if you guys have any questions um i like to pop on here and just kind of share what i do in my life and because my life is really amazing um it wasn't always like that i just like i just want to share it with you guys um and just show you that there is another way like we don't have to do what society wants us to do. We need to be doing what, what is going to actually benefit like our eternal life, our family, break those generational curses. And yeah, so my name is Lizzie. Have a good day.